Okay, we got a couple to choose from. Uh, look, at, look at the condition of these, eh? Wow. Just beat up like heck. Dance music by the Frank Brothers. Or we could hear the old gypsy. Den Gemi Ziggerary, which I don't know what I just said, if I said anything. Where, I don't know. Where's this from? Made in the USA. I don't get it. Okay, let's throw it on. Change the needle to 78 here. Oh, I'm going to turn on the amp. Give it a moment. It looks slow to me. Seven, it just doesn't look like 78. There's really no reason for it to be slow, though. Not significantly slow. And the volume is down. Nowhere. What happened? Oh. Yeah, that's slow, eh? Same as 45. Got it. it. It was hung up there again. Boy, it's just horrible. What's going on here? It just sounds just horrible. Horrible. Control back here for 78. So that puts a little more weight on it. Let's see if that made any difference. speed here. Will somebody please answer that? Can't seem to get the speed on. this other record just in case the record is so crappy that put this other beauty on I gotta get some more I got some more let's go back and try a regular 33 again and uh, because I thought it sounded pretty good so let's we'll switch to 33 The needle could just be worn away, and that's the problem. And a new needle might straighten that up. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, the weight's wrong. Wait, 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 the weight is wrong. There we go, I'll try it again. That's impressively good, <laughs> I find, anyway. Well, we'll take a closer look at the needle and see if we can sort out 
why it sounds so terrible on 78. Get my little camera. And let's have a look. Well, this is on LP at the moment. Duh. Let's put it on. Hey, I'm going to put it sideways like that. I'll put it sideways. That'll expose both needles. 78 is over on this side. There. Certainly is a needle there. That's the 78. And then here's the... Uh, see how bent up that is? That doesn't look right. That one there probably would be... That is not a very sharp looking needle, is it? So, I mean, any doubt these could benefit from being changed? Yeah, I wonder, I don't know, if I, should I bend that little needle back? Wow, that 33 one on the left here? This one here. Look at it. Looks like it's been jammed down and, and ended up. Let's look at it on the record. See what it looks like. I mean, it sounds good. That's why my initial reaction is do nothing. Wow, hard to get a look at it, eh? Just clearing. Wow. A little bit of dirt just rolled through there, did it? I'm not sure what I saw, but that is really close. Another little piece of dirt or something. I think we should bend that just a wee bit. You know what, this other one, I bet you the 78 one isn't even touching the record. I bet you it's dragging at the back here, so we'll check that out. So, so there's 33 with a better angle. Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, let's see what we can do with the 78 side. Take another look at it here. Before we do anything. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, kind of spacey looking there, isn't it? I don't think so. So here's the needle. See, it's bent a little bit too. Um, I put it right on the record. Just one sec. Maybe just staring at something there for a moment. Of course, this is playing at 33 right now. Doesn't look bad. Dinah, won't you blow? It's a bit of an X rated song there, isn't it? Uh, maybe I should go get another 78. This just may be so bad. We're ready. We're ready, except we're not on 78. 78 now! It's better.
see it moving back and forth. The uh, record pressing is eccentric. You can see it right in here too. See it going back and forth? No, it's just showing here. Yeah, things were not perfect back then. Oh, I didn't have it on 78. Try it again. 78 weight. 78 weight. Here we go. Hey, we could try the scratch filter and see what it does. I don't know why that's humming away like that. Meanwhile, there's a storm here. Hmm. That could be a lot of things. Uh, I think a tube is one of the highly likely things for that. How come this thing has got two 12AX7s? That's an awful lot of uh, amplification potential. Oh, separate inputs for all these uh, microphones. And the microphones are uh, very low, uh, they produce a very low voltage. Uh, this doesn't. So for the microphones, those 12AX7s are probably for the microphones. I should plug one in. I can do that. I can do that very easily. Let's try that. Okay, volume's down. So I'm going to actually use one of the microphones I'm using in my broadcast here. I'm just going to disconnect it here. Okay, so I should, you should just hear me on one channel. Okay, now we're going to plug this guy in here. We'll try mic one. Okay, is it on mic one? Mic one is volume is here. Okay, there's even a warning in here about feedback, so I'll try not to make that happen. What do we have to do? Anything? No, you have to do anything else. Plugged it in. I'll tap the mic. And there you are. Let me, let me, uh, let me just speak into the microphone here. I'm going to have to get right in front of the camera to do it. Though. Oh, here's the testing. Here's the testing. Give it a little more, uh, put it on the voice side, a little more volume. Here's another test, another test. Well, it works. Okay, volume down on mic one. We'll go to mic two. Mic two. Mic two. Okay, very good. Now we'll go to mic three. Mic three. Switch to mic three, and this is mic three. Didn't like that very much, did it? Mic three. Okay, 
Okay, now that's interesting. Ooh, lots of problems with this switch here. There it goes. Dirty switch. But if you notice, microphone setting, no roar of Niagara Falls. In that setting, Niagara Falls. Tube swapping, we might be able to nail down. Oh, the schematics in here. Yes, let me see what I can do with that schematic before we do anything more. So, switch off. And uh, I'll see if I can get that schematic, get an image of that schematic that's in there. <laughs> 